Hi everyone and uh, welcome to another part of the um, casting of Frank Stone. Um, I'm really enjoying the series so far. I hope you are too. Um, it's getting really good. Getting a lot more to the story. Understanding a lot more and I think it's going to get good. So. So, the Phantom of the Mill, I think it said. I need to get my uh, timing right. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's, it's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Oh no. I like games like this where you have to, you know, properly explore. And sometimes it means it's you know, a bit boring because you can do just walking around, not do much, but it's worth it in the end because it teaches you, it shows you so much more stuff. Right, so that's the way ahead. Don't want to go ahead just yet. I'm going to keep looking around. Um, Nothing there. See, there's a lot of places where you can explore and there's nothing to see. But I think that kind of breaks it up a little bit and makes it so that, you know, it's a, a long game and you see other stuff instead. You don't just see nothing at all. See, I love abandoned buildings, so I love seeing it. Oh, the clown! Why is it always clowns? <laughs> oh, I just see we got the last. This kind of stuff makes me ridiculously excited. Dead end. Well, that was worth it. Not this way. That's definitely worth it. I can't figure out what I'm supposed to be looking at. So. There was nothing highlighted. Unless it's just a lock which we can't open. I wonder if there's anything down here. This might, you know, this is where we came. Um, so, hopefully, we didn't miss anything too important. 
that we found, we can go back in and see. And if we do, like, you, there's multiple playthroughs of the game before you can actually see everything, so. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. So, now that we found it, we've seen it, we can go, right? No way, man. We've got to look around first, see what we can find. Definitely too good of an opportunity to pass up. Sure. You really think we're going to find anything the police missed? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article. It's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one's still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. Too far to hit the chain shop. Gotta be a way to get up there. So yeah, I don't know if that's like supposed to be a nod towards Dead by Daylight as well, but some of the noises are like what you would hear in the game. So how would you get that now? Should open the door, right? Well, it's not. But you need power. Maybe there's something useful in there. Oh, it's a key. Not creepy at all. See what Robert's found. Oh, the generator. Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me see. Oh, but it looks like it. I'm getting excited. I'm all giddy. Hey, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, uh... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like, like, just us. us. So, I'm just I'm in the way. way. Suspicious, you spend a lot of time with a girlfriend. Impatient, I want a few minutes alone, Chris. I don't need Robert put the wrong way. All right, look, the truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. 
You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. But that's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. I saw a key in there. Think it could be useful? Could be, yeah. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. Well, he went in and get intense. Like, I mean, you only spend time with your girlfriend. It's not necessarily just that. You might just want to talk to her. He thinks he's this might so work with the generator. Intense. So that's one. What else? Can you go down there? Oh, yeah, you can. Well, you can pretty much only go in a straight line, but... Oh. Just wonder to see if there's anything so I can, like, help. Need to find some parts. I not see anything. I'm sorry I keep yelling in, by the way. I'm at the moment, like, permanently tired. How's the generator coming? Getting there. Could help with the generator. That's why we came through this. That it's locked anyway. I don't think so. Oh, was that? Yeah, that was just like. Uh, that was meant to be got. I hoped an artist to repair the game. Just like the um, game. That great. I'm not that great in the game, no. Right, so that one's good. Oh, good boss. And it does that as well. It scares me. You have to like press it a bit early. Miss it. No more fees. Nice job. Thanks. Oh, it's been nice again. Nice job. Or is he just like pretending to be nice? I've got to get in that room. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, now we're getting yeah. somewhere. So like, there's been some some like negative things about this game Maybe because it's game like there. a like a little movie but it's like until dawn was like that and the quarry was like that and all the dark half pictures so 
it's to be expected. So I bought my lamp off. Go through that door. Nope. Window it is a oh, hole in the wall. I didn't see that. Well, they have torches. Can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. They consider it an honor being a raccoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. What have we here? Uh, another box. That's just what we've got. So, what do you unlock, little key? F stone. That unlocks the box card. What's that? <laughs> it's still open, a lot different. Find anything? Yep, yep. It's got a label on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh, man. So, let's see if the key unlocks the box card. Well, that was very hard. It worked. Did he say? Up. Still need to go up. Oh. The key's there already. Well, so she. I don't want to run and like jump off somewhere without meaning to. Oh, Commanding, I'll go first. You show you want to do this. I'll go first. I'll go first. Easy as one, two, three. Well, if it's that easy. Oh. Got you. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, man. That would that not have been a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to. No, I don't think it's that. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall.
So let's look around. Okay. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. Oh, my God, that's disgusting to start walking around. Let's take a closer look. No right notebook. Seed still coverage in machine shop and repair. Seed Hills, Oregon. Log MS850. Oh. Who are these other people? Oh, they've got some of their weapons. No, want to get close. Feel every blow. Hear their screams. Kesley. That was Parker D. Kesley. E. This time make it last. Better control. The next small cuts keep clean, takes their fear. The creature forged to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No, not what I see at night. Inspired terror, put and fix. Okay, that's a nice book. Frank Stone creates a specific weapon for each of his victims. Calhoun, son and friend. Frank Stone of this. Calhoun, son and friend, murdered by police. Monday, September seventh, seventeen sixty-two. Following several days of rumors and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Cusick. Last night for him, he's treating the deaths of George Calhoun and Joyce Barton at Hawk Line Point last Thursday night. It's a double murder. So, a drugstore replies that I think someone must have faked why they gave up that shot. And the car crashed and caught fire. They've determined that it was parts when they left the road, indicating the involvement of a third party. Shock in the wake of the July killing of Dorothy Clay. His nephew, her nephew Elvin was caught convicted following an investigation by Cusick. We must all hope and pray for a swift outcome. So this is happening a lot. Please. Well, they did. Because they wouldn't have just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? But the movie... The movie's done. I thought you... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? Since when did she have such a change of heart? And just looking around and get out. I don't think there is anything else to look at. That's what was that for? Was that box anything? Then you can leave. Just drop down. We gotta go. The 
Maybe we should wait outside until Robert comes back. Chuck, you can't move that apprehensive. It's been that's such a good idea. Shocked. I'd be shocked. Hey, whoa, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. I'm just gonna get one quick shot first. Uh, sure, yeah. Can't miss an opportunity to exploit Frank Stone's actual victims for your movie. We're making this movie together. Doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. Can't seem to get a second look. Right, so they found yeah. head. I don't like to think about skeletons and the hands, uh, but talk Linda about jealousy. We needed help, and she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Let's. I started going out with you because you were really fun, and making this movie was really fun, but. This? This isn't very fun anymore. So, what are you saying? I'm saying if we're not having fun anymore, maybe we shouldn't be in a relationship anymore. I want our relationship to work. You're not going to change your mind. I don't like it. I get the feeling this is less of a question and more of a statement well not gonna be able to change your mind am i probably not and that's it huh so we're breaking up you just I, i've on. got to get this shot this seems to relationship uh, is over she says it course. you decided yeah. to break up with chris I can't say that's a bad thing, but messed up. Oh, that must be in Frank Stones, they don't have a jar. And in the beginning, he lost his jar. What is I don't like that. Look at the left side. Oh, crap. That was a really bad decision, I think. You got killed trying to save Chris from the portal. Yeah, but what else was I going to do? Like you break up with someone, it doesn't mean you automatically just leave them to die. Beyond the gate, you're up on the uh, 2024. Anything? 
Nothing. Nothing. Not that I can I see. see. Telling you. This door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this Mad thing. Decent. I think the only Don't way to is to solve the atrium. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, okay. let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, Just a guess. But, but why not try this? Oh, don't do that. I still watch it. Well, I wasn't oh, actually it. expecting that to work. <laughs> don't put Almost something like you knew. new in things. Hello. Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? What's that? That's a big picture. So that's a hillbilly, and they literally said it before. Don't think there's anything else. Not getting in there without a key. Yeah, I need a key. Oh, ego. Oh, don't go back downstairs first. Try downstairs first. Try find a key downstairs. And then we can go up. I doubt it. There's a thing in here. Nothing there. I know we've been here before, but it's always like there's another lot. Back up we go. Well, you start watching things, me. Clumsy enough as it is. You as well. Mistake. Where are you going? Go back downstairs. Where it's at. It's like a library. Let's see. I should use this in the cabinet downstairs. Okay. Well, what about that hillbilly picture? He said they can open. So, Long Island Auction oh, that's House in West. That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. I've seen Lee Brian Grant Manor. Lot 106 description. 8mm film. Rare. Wow, price. 10,120. So, so, so amount due 12,135. Wow. Augustine paid large sums for her. Films apart from London, Maddie, and that guy's film strip. Movie review, Bird of Mill. Reviewed at the second Fiendish Desires Fan Festival by Robin Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Bird of Mill is unskillful composition. The equivalent of your sister's kid putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. The film begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers not to scare us, but instead to show us how many other horror films they've seen. Shows how many other better horror films they've seen. 
the aspects not unusual in the genre and have more or less become par for the course on festival circuits. What was unusual, however, was the oddly unsettling feeling that blanketed the audience from the first frame, and I can't explain why. Overall sense of dread. The screening was cut short as the as two festival goers began to assault audience members before turning to each other. Um, turning the children into absolute pandemonium. I'm not sure if it's a trick or a gimmick, um, but I'd have to imagine anyone with a mind to do something so devious would make a much better film than this. So the film itself was reviewed very well, but people started going crazy when they played when they watched their hisses. <laughs> Legion Six is twelve, so I think I've missed a good buster. But I think like I said before, when you play a game like this, I think you you're gonna miss a thing or two. Yeah, it's going to be one of them where you have to do like multiple playthroughs before anything happens. Like, you know, you get a trophy for all the collectibles and stuff. I'm not going for trophies this playthrough, I'm just, I want to see things. Because that's the point of the game. Where's that going? Oh, I did. That's one of my worst habits, just not being able to follow directions. This keep following me, it makes me nervous. So I'll miss even more. Can you stop following me, please? If I get lost, I'll feel stupid and then I'll get even more lost. It was probably somewhere like really obvious. Surprised they're not right behind me. I'm glad though. Oh god, there they are. It's like that Sherlock Holmes game where Watson's right behind you. Where is that cabinet? So stupid. Where's your cabinet? That's your bald. I really need to be like a what is through the stairs. I need to make an unconscious know where everything is. 
so that I don't get lost like this. So yeah, that's how we use it is to be set. What a losing. weird scene. Mm. That face so might fit the tree downstairs. Oh, and uh, Hillbilly trying to destroy it, I think. But he's still stuck through the stairs. No. Cheers. Like that is so creepy. Stood there still, not moving, and you kind of gone through the stairs at the same time. You're coming with me, buddy. Yes, you are. Well, no wonder she can't move if she's stuck through the stairs. But what about him? Hammer. Some kind of hammer. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. Oh, dude. I like it, dude. Now this, it's it's fun. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Oh, there it is. Okay, time to unlock that gate. Come on, what more is always behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Oh, oh, well, you should heads and heads. Say, how are you? So, is it that house? That's a hellbilly house. Then, that's a pair. That's a house. Oh, yeah, I didn't even realize. <laughs> that was oh. not so bad. Oh, wow. Look, there they are, they didn't even move and they're just there. Like, how did you get out the stairs? Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Not in the stairs. Or the hunt. It's like a museum for... I have no fucking, fucking idea, idea what. Something, Something unearthly, for sure. sure. Don't quite know. This whole place is like a film set. Akkadian Newman from Mesopotamia in the 23rd century BC. Statue from the Akkadian Akkadian Empire. Cuneiform on a fragmentary clay tablet discovered nearby it suggests it represents a demon. Worshippers believed it capable of giving supernatural power in exchange for devotion, protecting them and destroying their enemies. Ooh. Hey Linda, check this out. No crap. 
this at the top. I think it's pretty cool as well. Oh, I don't want to carry on just yet. That's Frankstone's health. Is that dried blood? As pets. What's this? It's a soldier. She told me they must die that it must be violent to open the gates. I'm going to try everything before I speak to him and continue on him. Oh, someone on the table. Folds of Fear. Justine Jeffrey. Someone. So it's like a fiction about someone trying to get to a settlement but feels like she's being followed. And there's a company. And she's looking for something in particular. There's someone called the Druini. And it's blooming over. And it's killed her friends. The clouds close and it starts raining. And there's a knotted appendage in its spawn as it moves its budget to strike and that's where it finishes. That's like the uh, what's it? Is it the no it's not the dredge. These mean anything to you? It's another one. But it's called Yeah it's actually. Called. It's exactly it's like in my film. Know. The Prophecy of Pain. Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? The monsters. Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. <laughs> there is no tomb in the Prophecy of Pain. Oh, I... Yeah, sorry. I, I was getting this stuff with, with, the, with one of the other guys. Right? I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work. Okay, Maybe well, you haven't seen a system. single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. Sure. Honestly, I'm just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. Crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barrow. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. Respect, I like to have friendship. Mischievous little wager. I'll be respectful. There's really only one thing I can offer you. Which is? My friendship. <laughs> You're joking, right? You strike me as someone who doesn't end up with a lot of people in your corner. That's your opinion? I'm pretty sure that whatever Augustine's up to does not involve us getting the sweet end of the deal. Point. If we've got any shot at figuring out what's going on and maybe getting the upper hand, we gotta trust each other. There's only one person I trust, and he's got two thumbs, and he's this guy. <laughs> you can trust me, Stan. I will give you my word on that. If you tell me the truth about your film strip, I'll, uh, I'll have to get I'll back get to you back on that. So, what's this? So, maybe I should be appealed to his, like, competitive side. This is... 
No. There's no <laughs> way. It Is can't that be. her camera? A broken Super 8 camera? Hey, Linda. You should really come see. Oh, there's a locket. What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Well, maybe it's... Who's that? I think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew. It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie, he can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie. Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out. Oh. Cold. Yeah. I got something for that. Pocket warmer. I think she said, okay, sure. Reluctant, probably shouldn't. Mate friend said that. We'll probably be a man. Sure, sure. Thanks. Oops, I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Nah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York, anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret unrequited reason why you might want to stick around and how's that any of your business bonnie rivera <laughs> look if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer it's freshly squeezed gossip why do you hate cedar hill so much you used to be like town mascot Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the Earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. Sorry about the silence. I've just got a little spam phone calls. I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so, broke that, kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know? I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was 
Definite. She and the band pretty much moved on without me. You deserve better than that. Yeah. I think so, too. Maybe we should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. Right, so this is gonna go off because it's nearly an hour. Really enjoyed this um section. It really helped us find some truth out about the characters and stuff like that. Uh didn't really mean to get two people killed, but um, well that that's the playthrough. Right, so the collection we found Clown and Legion. Um, so I think that's everything. Relationships to Linda. Hi, Maze, a lot, but you kind of can't do anything about that. Um, Hi, Maze, your sister, he got $10, went to the curiosity shop. They decided to break up and then he got killed <laughs> straight away. Um, Chris, curious, it's a shot, bought a new camera, broke up with Jaime, watched him get killed and then got pulled into a portal. And not a great day for either of them. And then for Linda, it's just the shop. So, yeah, I'm enjoying. How it's going at the moment of oh, artifacts. What we found. The book, the horror story and the um, demanded statue. Um, then we found the um, notebook filled with pictures. And then we found in regards to murder mail the review, the bad review, the deed of sale and that camera. So I think that's supposed to be Linda's all camera. Right, so we, we got through a lot in this episode. Um, looking forward to the next one. Um, and yeah, it was good. So, bye.